Almost six years of war in Syria have killed hundreds of thousands of people and turned millions into homeless refugees. What started off as a peaceful protest movement by Syrians demanding freedom soon turned into a civil war with regional governments and international powers trying to further their own interests by backing opposing sides. Numerous attempts, primarily led by the United Nations, to end the fighting have failed. And the Syrian regime and its army, responsible for much of the killing, is in the strongest position it's been in since the war began. That's primarily due to its allies. Russian airstrikes on rebel-held territories tipped the balance in favor of Bashar al-Assad's government. On the ground, thousands of Shia militia sent and armed by Iran helped consolidate Assad's grip on power. The fall of Aleppo was testament to this. On the other side, Gulf countries which once armed and funded rebel groups have significantly reduced their support, unable to agree on what a post-Assad Syria could or would look like. While Turkey, which continues to host more than 2 million Syrian refugees, is being seen as the biggest game changer. Turkish leaders had insisted that they would never allow for Aleppo to fall and that Assad must leave for peace to be achieved, but that has all changed now. Turkey is now working closely with Russia. The two countries cooperated to ensure the forced evacuation of opposition groups and residents from Aleppo. Now they've organized ceasefire talks in Kazakhstan. Some analysts say the change in Turkey-Russia relations could bring about an end to the war. Uh, both uh, countries actually uh, would be uh, uh, important uh, uh, actors in bringing the opposition on table as well as convincing the regime uh, for accepting a, a peaceful uh, solution in, um, for, for Syria. And that will hopefully will be achieved partly. I'm not assuming uh, to have 100%, but a major part will be achieved in the Astana meetings. World leaders have often said that it is up to the Syrian people to decide their own future. But the truth is that it is regional and international powers who have allowed for this war to continue and it is them who have the ability to bring it to an end. As these talks take place here in Astana, millions of Syrians who continue to suffer will be hoping that this time round their lives will be as important as political interests, if not more. Jamal al-Shayyal, Al-Jazeera, Astana, Kazakhstan.